It's the Africa Adaptation Summit, which has brought us right here to the largest floating office in the world, the Global Center on Adaptation. And this is the man behind all of it, Professor Patrick uh, Ferkoyen. Uh, tell us, uh, this is a momentous day. You've been working towards this for a long time. What does this mean to you? Well, actually, in fact, this is a momentous day for Africa. Why? Because Africa is in the front line of the climate emergency. Today, it's quite uh, remarkable. African leaders, including President Akufo Addo, they're coming here to the Global Center on Adaptation with something very concrete. They have a plan. They have the ambition. Africa is putting its own resources to the table, but there are also very clear expectations that the Western world will match the ambition and the concreteness of African leaders here today at the Global Center on Adaptation. Looking around me, I see so much industrialization, and that is part of what has caused the climate change problem we're dealing with now. And guess what? Africa is suffering the brunt of it. How hopeful are you that the West will finally put its money where its mouth is? Well, I'm not optimistic, I'm not uh, pessimistic, I'm very determined. Why? Because there's only one way forward, right? Because this climate adaptation program which the African leaders are bringing is a, a program, it's, it's an aspiration for jobs, for growth, for development. This is the only way how the African continent can really grow, it can, back, it can get better on its footing. What we know is that this works. We've seen the concrete solutions which African governments, which African private sector, which African institutions are already putting into place. What they need though, scale and speed. And for that, we need resources, lots of it. So COP27 is just around the corner in November we're having this event. Are you hoping that this, even if it doesn't secure some of the funding that you need, will trigger that thinking ahead of uh, COP27? Well, COP27 indeed is in, in Egypt. I mean, in, in essence, that's the Africa summit. It's the Africa moment. Just a few weeks uh, from now, where all the whole world will gather in, in Egypt indeed. Well, the African agenda on climate change, as you said, Benjamin, is about adaptation. Africa is only emitting 3% of global greenhouse gas emission with 17% of the global population. So Africa needs to adapt or it will die. So in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt during the climate summit, just a few weeks from now, this outcome of the day needs to be capitalized. What I expect is that there will be injection into this agenda, but there's nowhere to hide for global leaders, including or particularly from the West, to double down on adaptation finance. Uh, two more questions. So let's focus on Ghana. I am Ghanaian. My president, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, will be here. He also happens to be president for 55 countries uh, who form the Climate Vulnerable Forum. When you look at Ghana, for example, what picture do you see? What reality do you see when it comes to the climate change challenge? Well, I see two pictures. The one picture is of the floods and the droughts and of the sort of the, the, the economic downfall related to the climate emergency. But at the same time, I see another picture, and a picture of hope, of, of aspiration, of movement, of growth, where solutions are being implemented. President Akufo, uh, uh, Ado, President Akufo Ado will come here with something very concrete on, in, in his hand, right? Yes, he represents 55 nations, but those 55 nations are not just waiting, they are moving. And what they do here, they come with an, a hand reached out to the rest of the world to say, you know what, we're moving, move with us. And those are countries, by the way, from different continents, not just Africa. My final question for you, out of curiosity, uh, in, the, in the past, the West has said, uh, Africa is not ready to do this. Africa now says it is ready. Is Africa ready? Africa is ready. Africa is ready because it has the plan. Africa is ready because it has the leadership. Africa is ready because it's putting its own financing to the table for a problem which it didn't cause. Now, the question is, is the rest of the world ready? The answer for that we will know at the end of the day, at the end of this summit.